Shutterbox! Today I have a very special guest and we're gonna talk about travel photography. Today we're gonna give you guys a couple tips that are really gonna help you to get the best photos when you're traveling. Oh yeah. Hi Shutterbox, I'm Jocelyn from Jason Carpadiums. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for being here. The first tip that we're gonna share with you is the time where you should be taking your photos. Absolutely. Yeah, I think in the morning. So for example, if you're traveling to New York and you wanna get a picture of the Wait, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> if you, for example, wanna take a really awesome photo of like the Brooklyn Bridge, I would say to wake up super early, six o'clock in the morning. I know it's really early, but nobody's there. But it's totally worth it, especially because when you're traveling specific places that you really wanna visit and you really wanna like, okay, if I didn't go to this place, like it didn't happen. True. But though everyone is thinking the same thing. Yeah. So if you go there like at three where everyone is there, it's just super messy to take photos. Much. And you get the sunrise and you'll get like double the shot because if you turn around and you have the whole city. Oh, that's that would beautiful. be so nice. So, so nice. Yeah. Now I need to go to New York. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you have been traveling the world for a couple of years now, correct? Yes. So you have gathered a couple tips. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So I started when I was in college. Okay. Yeah. So I started when I was in college. I decided to stay in Miami, but I still wanted to have the out of the house experience. So I started traveling with um, side jobs that I had in school and I loved it. I opened up a blog and then I started giving tips and then I grew a following. That's and amazing. From there, just picked up. I started working with companies, and it's been awesome. And she has amazing photos on her Instagram, so I'm gonna leave you the information in the description box so you can check out her beautiful photos on Instagram, and also check out her YouTube channel. The next point, it's something that I talk about, uh, I talk about a lot with you guys, and that's the pre-production. But tell us how you do it. So for me, when I travel, as a travel blogger, we always have to plan ahead every time we travel, okay? So we're going back to New York. I will list the top 10 places that are most photographed in New York, and then I will just put them on my iPhone or make a little paper or note it, but definitely plan ahead of exactly where you want to take photos of. Yeah, and that goes related with your outfit as well, correct? A hundred percent, because not every place is going to be like... You're not gonna have the same outfit in the Brooklyn Bridge and then in Times Square. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then if you have an idea of how the location look, then you can know what you should be wearing okay. according to like what you're thinking the final shots should be. Yeah. So maybe you can check the colors of the location, if somebody have done a shot that you actually feel inspired by, and then you can maybe use similar colors. So all that helps you to get an even Super. better photo. Yeah. Another thing, it's talking exactly about this, about inspiration. It's like, where do you get inspiration from? From you. Oh my <laughs> God. Yes, <laughs> I feel like it, all my inspiration from my fellow like vloggers. Yeah. I love it. And tips, your tips are really important. Thank you. Yeah, because sometimes like, you know, we have like different, like the way that we pose. It's completely. A hundred percent. So like those little things help so much. Yeah, and it also help you to, just make things faster and smoother because yeah. when you're shooting then you start knowing yourself a little better with these tips yeah. also so you told me about the saving the photos on instagram oh my god this is so important so i actually learned this tip from another blogger a friend of mine and when you're traveling and you see when you're surfing the web on instagram and you see like oh new york and i love the way that she posed um in the Brooklyn Bridge, like I will save it into my Instagram to have that option where you save. Yeah, so you yeah. can have like your little folder that says inspiration. I totally do that oh, too. Me too, me yeah. too. I did some for your wedding. I saved some of the photos. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome, <laughs> Yay. I'm not, I don't even have a boyfriend yet, but I'll like, <laughs> in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's true, you need to start getting ready. In the future, boyfriend. Another huge tip, and this I will say it's the most important one in this whole video, yes. for real. But if you have been enjoying this video so far, don't forget to subscribe to my <laughs> YouTube channel if you want more photography tips and also to check the description box to check her YouTube channel and be part of the family. Yes. 
So the next step is the tripod. Right here. Yay! <laughs> this is the best. I know you use it. I use it. This is like the best. I think you, you'll link it down below. Yeah. Super definitely. important. Um, the tripod is going to be your best friend. Even to do videos when Completely. you're anywhere traveling. It's and if super. you're traveling, if you're traveling alone, mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing because then you can take your own photos. Yes. And also if you are traveling with your partner or a friend, mm -hmm. you want a picture with them too. That is the best thing ever. At least a tripod has helped me so much when I'm traveling with like friends and I want a photo of us together and, so and not just a selfie like I love selfies don't me too <laughs> yeah, I love them but sometimes you want like the full photo yes like if you're like oh my gosh best example when I went to Curacao it's an island and right mm -hmm. down by South America and I wanted like photos with the people that I was traveling with the tripod came in handy we yeah. put it in the sand and we took the photos so. and you're yeah. ready it really is the best if you're traveling you need you need a tripod the thing with the tripod is that uh, they can get very heavy mm -hmm. and this specifically it's a great option to yeah. get because it's very light and super you, light you can have it in your little pack. I love it little pouch yeah and this tripod that she's gonna be linking down below it's perfect because it comes with like photo Ooh, gear. Oh, that's nice. And I love it. a little holder for your phone. So you don't really need the equipment, which right. is a topic that we're going to talk about. You just need your iPhone or mm -hmm. phone. Yeah. So you don't have any excuses now to me. No, you don't. <laughs> so let's talk about equipment. What kind of camera do you recommend? Or what, which one do you use? So um, I've gone from so many cameras, but I think for the sake of this video, I will say with your iPhone and a good tripod, it's the way to go. Especially if you're not like a vlogger or you do this for a job. Like I think an iPhone and a really good tripod are just all the equipment that you need. And also like nobody wants to be carrying with so much heavy equipment on their backs. Totally. And I'm... I'm a photographer and I think about that all the time, mm -hmm. especially if you're traveling a lot uh, and you have, if it's, if it's like a long yeah. thing, you want to have a lot of yeah. stuff and then all this equipment plus, it's like, it, it could get crazy. I'm a big believer that, yeah, of course, there's a difference when you're yeah. using a DSLR, definitely, yeah. but um, what was I saying? Equipment. Oh, okay. And cameras. And cameras. <laughs> uh, but I really believe that it's not really about how much you spend on equipment. Yes. It's really about how you manage lighting. Oh my gosh, so important. Lighting, it's crucial. You can have great equipment, but if you don't have the good lighting, there's no mm -hmm. way, guys. Yeah. There's no way you're going to get a good photo. It doesn't matter if you have the filter, if you have the best camera, if you have this or that. If you don't know how to take care of your lighting you're not gonna get a good result you won't that's why i always suggest to like take your photos in the morning early and then in the afternoon right before sunset when you're traveling and especially so traveling photos when you want to take photos of the landscape yes and you want the landscape to look great too yeah. so lighting it's crucial if you're taking photos in the middle of the day you're just gonna get a lot of harsh shadows super harsh shadows and that's not flattering, not even for you no. guys. No. no. And it's not good for the landscape either. You it's get not. This one's so important. <laughs> support system. Yes. You need a good support system when you're traveling. Tell me more about that. Like if you're traveling with friends, let it just be a friend's travel okay. trip. Um, and, and like take photos of each other. Okay. You know? So like they don't just like exchange phones and and you know your friend wants a really good photo in front of Times Square you go and you take it for her and and you exchange like that um, it's it's yeah. amazing because then you don't need to like it's fine if you have the options of the tripod and all the stuff but if you have yeah. somebody there they can actually help you amazing. to get better photos yeah like my friend that I've traveled the most with it's so much fun because she'll flip the camera the camera has like a flip screen okay. and I can see myself as, I t as, she t as she takes the photos. I oh, mean, that's it's awesome. It's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's just a little idea <laughs> that you can use. Because sometimes, like, maybe they don't have the idea yeah. that you kind of how you want the photo. So she'll just like flip the screen so I can see myself. Yeah. It's the best. 
That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here. No, thank, thank you so much, Shatterbox, for being here as well. I remember that you're beautiful and special. See you yes. next week, and don't forget to check everything on the description box. Follow her on YouTube and Instagram, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if yes. you want more photos. And tips. give it a thumbs up if you really love this video. Yes. yes. See you next time.